Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski. I am the owner for Tutor for Finance and today we are going to be covering how to calculate your weighted average cost of capital. Your weighted average cost of capital is also referred to as WAC or it can also be referred to as a CCC which is a corporate cost of capital. Either term is going to mean the same which is how much a company pays for the money that they use or the money that they borrow. The three ways a corporation can get funds to invest into a project is through debt, preferred stock, or common stock, and included into your common stock is also your retained earnings, which is money that the company does not kick back to the owners. In order to calculate the weighted average cost of capital, we're going to use a specific formula. The components of the formula are as follows. The D is going to be our cost of debt, which is 17%. PS, which is our preferred stock, and the cost of the preferred stock is 21%. And we're also going to use E, which is our cost of stock, or also cost of equity, and that is 22%. The next component of our weighted average cost of capital is going to be the weight, how much debt the company uses for a project, how much weight the company uses for preferred stock and how much weight the company uses of your common stock. So for the weight of debt is going to be 0.2 or 20%, the company uses 20% to finance their projects. The weighted average, the weight of preferred stock is going to be 0.3 or 30% and the final weight is going to be equity and the company uses 50% equity to finance all their projects. The first step in order to calculate our WAC is to do what we call the simple stuff. The simple stuff, we start with putting our WAC right here, put our equal sign, then we open up our parenthesis, close it, put our addition sign, put our multiplication sign, open up a parenthesis, put our multiplication sign, close the parenthesis, put our addition, Open up parenthesis, put a multiplication sign, close parenthesis. This is the structure we're going to use, and the only thing we now need to do is plug in our numbers. First number is going to be our debt, 0.17. Then we're going to go for the weight of debt, 0.2. Preferred stock, 0.21. Weight of preferred stock, 0.3. Equity, cost of equity, 0.22. Weight of equity, weight of equity, 0.5. The next step, again, is going to be drop our whack, put our equal sign, and we're going to solve the parentheses for.